if you are anything like your old uncle E, that there are going to be people in your life that become what one of my friends calls a sideways elevator to you. So you can just imagine a side, an elevator is going straight up. There's a trajectory. And then at a certain point, like a quantum leap, that elevator goes zoom, And then you keep going in the same direction, but now in a totally different way. There are going to be people that you meet. They're going to be videos that you watch. They're going to be circumstances in your life that literally quantum leap your life into a totally different trajectory, a totally different direction. It's not like it's over time. It's like that. And so today I'm going to talk about two people in my life that were sideways elevators for me. Had it not been for my experiences with these two people, I wouldn't be who I am, where I am today. The very first of these two people was my friend Richie Rich, we called him, who I played football with at St. John's University in Queens, New York. And Rich took his name seriously. He wasn't just named Rich, he was determined, hell bent on being rich. He was always plotting, scheming, finding a way to make some money. And so one day I go over to his house. We're probably getting ready to go to a bar or a club or do something degenerate. And he's sitting on the edge of his bed, uh, which was, he had a, a desk pulled up to it. And he was typing on his big ass computer. And he says, check this out. And I'm like, what's going on? He says, we're going to have a good night tonight. And he shows me a website that he pulls up called PayPal. Now, mind you, at the time, I didn't know what PayPal was. In fact, at the time, like 1997, I didn't even have an internet account. You had to go and get a disk with an AOL account and put it inside the thing and set it up. You had to plug it into your telephone and it was just like a big mess. So I didn't have any internet. I go to his house the only time I see the internet. And he's opening up the internet on his, on his computer screen and he's showing me a PayPal account. And in that PayPal account was $40,000. I'm like, never seen $40,000 in my life. That's like what me, people make in a year. And he just made that this week. And I'm like, what are you doing? You got to be like, this is your ultimate plot and scheme. You got to be doing something illegal right now, Rich. How are you plugging your computer into the wall and just pulling out money? And he began to, proceeded to explain to me <laughs> that with the AOL chat room, which would come with the disk that you would put in the computer and you'd get a profile and then you would chat with people. He would go into these sports betting chat rooms and offer bets, betting tips, betting tips or picks. That's what he would call them. So for example, if there was like a game happening this weekend and he would offer his pick, his, his betting pick on who's going to win. Right. Mind blowing stuff. I mean, I've never been into betting. I don't even think he was into betting, but he saw this as an opportunity. So he would give these guys who are addicted to gambling on sports what he thought was going to be the winner. And of course, he would read newspapers and he was like into sports. So he would give them pretty good picks. And he was really he was he was giving good picks. They were winning. And so people were just dumping money into his account for more and more picks. He became like a pick guru. Like overnight, literally, like he just made this shit up. That's, <laughs> that's the kind of guy he was, right? Like he just makes something up and is like, let's go, let's go make some money. And so he's making $40,000 in a week giving betting tips to people in the AOL chat room. That was a sideways elevator moment for me. Boom, my eyes were opened. I was like, oh, this internet thing, these interwebs is going to play a big part in how I make money in my future. Like, like, I know that sounds, oh, pretty mundane today because most of y'all grow up watching YouTube and you're like, oh, of course, I'm going to make money with the internet someday. And of course, past the pandemic, it's like you, know, you have, really have no choice, right? The world totally changed. But remember, this is like 1997, 1998. And I've never seen this done before. But I know in that moment that this that revolutionized my mindset. The second person was in 2006. Six. And I was, I just, I just moved out of being a personal trainer at that big box gym because I was getting so many leads that I was like, why am I giving them all my money? And then I started training people at a, another private gym. And then while I was working at a private gym, I was paying like $700 a month in order to bring my clients there, which was a big chunk of change for me at the time. But because I knew how to rank in Google in 2004, 2005, 2006, um, it was, and by the way, to rank in Google at that time, all you need to do is put a couple keywords on your page and wait like 20 minutes. And then it was like, boom, Hey, your website is ready. 
right? In the search engine. Um, so I, again, I was, I was raking in the clients. I was able to get clients because I was using this weird technology called the internet at the time. But I knew that I wanted more. And so I, I would love to have had my own gym, but I, did, I wasn't making enough money and I didn't want to take out a loan. I didn't know how I was going to go about doing that. So I met the second person that totally transformed my life and gave me another one of those sideways elevator moments. And that was a guy named Zach Evanesh. And you can check him out. He's still here on YouTube. Zach Evanesh, the underground strength coach. And this guy, I saw he was, he had a website first, because I don't think YouTube was around at the time. He had a website and he was showing trainers how to, how to train people. And he was training people out of his garage with trash. Sound familiar? He was training people with trash. Like he had like used tires and rocks and logs, like legit logs. And um, you know, all kinds of weird stuff. He was pushing cars and doing all these strange things. And I was like, my, I was mind blown. I was like, this is awesome. I was like, I can do that. I don't need a gym. This guy's training people in his garage. So I got my old van. I had a 1988 Ford conversion van, big, ugly black van. My friends called it the creeper van because it looked like you'd be kidnapping kids with it. <laughs> and uh, I filled it up with sandbags and tires and sleds and shit like that. And I went out into the park and I started training people, uh, making my own money outside of the gym that I was once paying a lot of money in order to you know, use their, use their equipment. I don't need no damn equipment. I train people with trash. Why? Because of Zach. Zach not only introduced me to the idea of working for myself by training people in the parks with trash, Zach was also a, a, on the cutting edge of what was happening on the internet. And he, he started sending videos through his email. And I would open up the email for the first time ever. I, there was a link in a video. And he's here talking, like if you know Zach, if you don't know him, go check out his channel. But if you know Zach, he's like, he's just, he's fired up. So he's holding the camera. He's like, hey guys, I'm in here. I'm training these guys. We're blasting the music. And you just see like a bunch of kids like lifting weights, doing trap bar deadlifts and, you know, battling ropes and shit like that. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. He's making videos of the cool shit that he's doing. I'm going to do the same thing. And literally 2007, I, I bought my first Actually, I didn't buy it. I had my, my dad had an old ass camera that would put like, you put like uh, tapes in it. <laughs> my first video on this channel, it was made from tapes. If you look at it, you'll see like the first, maybe like the first 50, 60 videos on this channel. Those were filmed on tape, brothers. Let me tell you. Well, anyway, so I got my camera. I started filming the workouts that we were doing. So not only was I inspired by Zach to train people with trash, and you'll see the very first video on my channel here. I'm, I'm in a park flipping tires, Zach's idea. But I filmed it. Zach's idea. Sideways elevator moment. He was a sideways elevator guy for me. So two people, the one that introduced me to the internet and the one that introduced me to YouTube, made me who I am here today. Had it not been for those moments of grace, that just unfolded spontaneously in my life to bring me where I am today, well, I wouldn't be here. And I know for sure that there are people that you watch on YouTube now that it's a popular thing. I know that there are people that you come across in your social media and you see something that they do or you hear something that they say that changes it all for you. The trajectory of your life. That person is your sideways elevator. I know for some of you, I'm that sideways elevator for you. Because you mail me and you tell me, you text me and you tell me, and you DM me and you tell me, hey, Elliot, it wasn't weren't for you, I wouldn't be a personal trainer today. Weren't for you, I wouldn't have had whatever I have here right now. And I take that, I take that lightly, meaning it really wasn't me. It's the grace of God in your own work. But I understand that that was a spark to send a sideways elevator into your life so that you could be who you are and where you're at today. I'm grateful for Richie Rich and I'm grateful for Zach Evanesh. I know some of you guys are grateful for me. My call to action in this video is for you to be a sideways elevator for somebody else. You've got something trapped inside your head, something between your ears that if you spoke it, even if it was just in passing, even if it was just like a small line or two, two words that you say in between two concepts while you're making a video that just plants a seed in somebody's head that totally changes the trajectory of their life, 
you become a sideways elevator for that person. And they often say that the person that introduced you to something, the person that first shows you something or enlightens you to something is a person that you will always be grateful for. Rich and Zach, always grateful. Always, to, 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 to my death, I'll be grateful to those two guys. Did they do it for me? No. But they showed me something that I didn't see. And by seeing it, changed everything for me. You got that same superpower and somebody waiting for you to say it. So you gotta get off your ass creator, start creating content and being a sideways elevator for someone else. And if you're still dragging your feet, sitting on your ass and not sure what to do, well, this week I've got something for you. For $7 only, you can get my YouTube cash flow blueprint. The link will be in the bio here down below. Check it out. It's only going to be on sale for a few days. The, the, the price betrays the value. Like I'm almost a little nervous now for selling it for only $7 because people are going to just buy it because they can and not study the shit. But if you watch the series of videos, I mean, there's a series probably of about 20 different videos that go very deep into the framework of what I do. I even talk about Zach Evanesh in there. It will change the trajectory of your life. But not only that, it will allow you to change someone else's life. Take action. Be that spark. Done.